What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a sound that is very popular in bass music and it sounds like this. So the first thing I'll do is I'll make a new MIDI region and I will make a legato MIDI note at E0. Hit my legato button here to stretch that one out. So the next thing I'll do is I'll open up Serum and this is what we're currently hearing. And what I want to do is I want to go here to this wavetable selector and select basic shapes so that I get a nice sine wave wavetable. Then I'm going to turn on oscillator B. I'll select basic shapes again, and I will keep it at a sine wave. And then I will turn the volume all the way down because we're going to be using this for FM from B. So I'll select FM from B over here on oscillator A, and then I'll start turning it up until I can hear the harmonics. So I can start to hear those come through around this 37% mark. And what I'll do once I can hear those harmonics come through is I will start increasing the octave here on oscillator B. And what that's going to do is it's going to raise the octave of these harmonics. So that plus three is really the sweet spot. What I'll do next, I will do some pitch bend. So down here, I can, I can see my pitch bend knob. What that'll allow me to do, as soon as I wiggle that, it'll allow me to turn on automation view in Ableton and do some pitch bend automation. So I'm gonna make a point, an anchor point here. I'll make an anchor point here. And then I'll click in the middle and drag down. So we got a nice foundation to build on here. What I'll do next is I'll go into LFO1 and I will map that to the level of oscillator A. I'll turn it all the way down to zero and then I'll turn the LFO range all the way up to 100%. I can really hear it starting to take shape. And then I'll turn on this triplet because that gives us a little bit more options in terms of the rate here. And I'll slide this up to a 1 16th triplet. And then all together we have. Now what you can do is you can get creative and throw a little acapella on top, turn it into a remix. You can also automate that oscillator B octave to give it some variation. So let's see what that sounds like. If this was helpful, please follow the account so you can stay up to date with all of our upcoming tutorials.